Engineer775 here doing another video on water, of course. Uh, we've got a, uh, we've taken a home and removed some existing pressure tanks, um, put a new 85 gallon bladder tank in, and just kind of redid everything. What we, the reason we did this is we wanted to be able to take any source of water, whether it's from the well, like they are on, or a elevated cistern or rainwater catchment system and run it through some ceramic filters but before they hit the ceramic whole house filters they're going to go through this pre-filter just the water from the well or whatever the source is will hit this filter first get rid of the particles and then it'll so nothing gets in even into the pressure tank which can collect sediment too then the water I know it's hard to follow these lines and I can't back up much farther so these, these are two big blue canisters that contain uh, the Dalton Rio six candle system and they're uh, 0.2 micron ceramic candles so no bacteria can get through those. They will catch some viruses but that's not really an issue here. It's, it's uh, bacteria is the main, the main issue. And then the final stage we put in a canister for a charcoal filter for taste. So some of your water supplies are you know got a lot of sulfur or just the, the water doesn't taste good so charcoal is great for um, improving the taste of your water so that's that's pretty much it you see there's a lot of valves a lot of quarter turn shutoffs and that allows you to bypass any one of these filters you need to be able to bypass it so that you can service it maintain it change out the filters inspect it I guess our only complaint about the system is not being able to visually see what's going on with the filter quality but other than that it's a system that you can take any source of water through without electricity so the systems that have infrared and um, reverse osmosis all require power this doesn't we can gravity feed from a cistern down through the system nobody's going to get sick in a crisis situation if you're used to the water already you can just bypass these ceramic filters to save them for that rainy day and uh, you can bypass everything for that matter but uh, to save those filters it's a good idea to uh, be able to to bypass those so we're just going to monitor the system in the next few months and see what the the, the filters uh, look like and how you wash them how you clean them but I, I like ceramics as a solution um, that doesn't require any power so technically there's no electricity required to get water into this home pressurized water because we have an elevated cistern and a solar pump to get the water up to it so all right, I think that's about it. So I'm going to show you kind of overall. <laughs> the water's coming in from the well, and then it's going to come down into um, this this PEX line. I know this is you're going to, I'm going to make you sick on this video. And then you have a, a main a main shut off, and then it can split. Anyway, you can bypass everything. Uh, you can't tell what I'm doing, so I'll stop there. <laughs> but you can. You know, pause the video if you're trying to do a system like this and you can figure it out. There's a hundred different ways to plumb this, but um, the gentleman that did it did a great job. So we're, uh, we're, uh, we're happy with it. The homeowner's happy. And so nobody's going to get sick in this location due to water problems. So, all right, Engineer775 signing out.